Yo, it's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk Guides. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I feel like I feel like I should uh, actually make an apology. I'll move my mic right here a little bit closer. I should apologize for this to begin with. It's this tank is like a little hunchbacked creeper. This tank is so ugly. It's so ugly that the Japanese tanks look beautiful in comparison. That's how ugly. Look at this little hunchback dwarf creeper. It's bizarre. I like that Squatch has put the Christmas camel on it. Somehow that is appropriate. Weird little creeper tank. This thing is supposed to be a reward tank that feels like a punishment. But let's, I, I apologize. I'm going to make you watch this video because it's just, <laughs> this this is a good one. It's a good, so Squash is in his Excalibur. He is a bottom tier in a two tier battle here on Manaheim line. And he's going to come up here. Now the thing about, the thing about having a big game in a tank, even a weird creeper tank like this is oftentimes you just have to sacrifice some of your team. You know what I mean? <laughs> so Squash comes up here, goes up to the sniper spot, Three artilleries, two M44s and a 13 F3. Gets spotted, backs up four feet, and then sits there and dares him. <laughs> I dare you to shoot me. You will. I'm so ugly, you won't even shoot me. He's so ugly, they won't even try to shoot him. So he, there we go. So we got a little damage. Savor that damage, because it's going to take a while. All right? Sa <laughs> Savor that damage. That's the last damage you're going to see for a little while out of Squash as he... Wait a minute, maybe there was one more knots ready. He misses this one. As he camp a lamp a ding dang in the world's ugliest troll tank. Look at the little hunchback creeper Christmas tank. Every time I see its turret move, I, I'm reminded of the character Pat that uh, <laughs> from Saturday Night Live. How how bad was that? How un PC was that, huh? You could not do that bit in today's day and age. But here's Creeper Tank, the Excalibur. Watches another weird tank go by and decides, hey, maybe I'll just come up here and camp a little more and see if I can shoot something. So he comes up to the edge and we're looking around right out in the open. <laughs> like I said, if you're going to have a big game, if you're going to have a big game, sometimes you just have to sacrifice the team around you. And I think Squash is all over that today. Backs it up for a moment there. I thought he was just trying to show his arse to the enemy there. He's just spinning around. Look how big this thing's Patuckus is. You know what I'm saying? It's just a weird creeper box. Look at him just creeping around the corner. Speaking of creepers, there's an IKV-90B. Maybe only slightly prettier than the Excalibur. And now I am thinking this is the part where Squash is going to rage forward and save the EZ-8 and the IS. And he's going to drop all that juicy damage. And then he's... Nope. That was it, folks. That was that was the extent of the aggression. It was a sprint forward. And the little creeper decided to run away. And oh, maybe he was going to go. Nope. He decides again to run away. <laughs> so we're going to come around here. Take our little hunchback creeper. Knock down some trees. Try to build a little creeper nest for our Christmas tank. Okay, there we go. Knock some trees down. Team's dying. That's good because the only way you can get all the hit points is if your team dies before they get them. So, <laughs> artillery flying, people dying, little creeper tank hiding out in his nest. There's the Leo and the IKV. Even the IKV has enough sense to attack. <laughs> Now, I'm, just, of course, kidding with you, Squash. This is an easy tank to hate on. It's such a weird little terrible thing. So here comes the P-43 TER. Oh, we have backup. You certainly don't want to actually shoot anything. Just get back around the corner. <laughs> so this goes on for a while. Got, uh, got guys sitting there. We got the creeper tank staring at a... What appears to be a snowbank. I'm pretty sure you can't. Oh, there we go. Already going in there. Cool. That's fun. IKV is still alive. We've sacrificed all our guys in the south. I don't know why the Chi Re and the 12T decided to 
get themselves stuffed in that corner. I much want to bet that 12T just dies raging across there. There's like three tanks up on the sniper fest or up on the sniper hill there. Look at the Leo. Oh, maybe we're going to attack. Here we... No. Nope. <laughs> nope, we're not going. We are not going. Weird little creeper tank. Oh, he's, he is creeping for... No, he's... Nope, we're not. We're going... <laughs> No, nope, we're not going. Oh, here we go. Are we going to get our second damage? No. No, Artie will take care of that. We'll just sit here in this bush. Oh, here comes a 12 or a Tiger P. Leo's gone. Well, good. At least those guys up there will not be taking your hit points anymore. So we'll just wait. Oh. Yeah, that's... GG, man. This is this is the kind of dynamic gameplay that you would expect with a little dwarf hunchback creeper tank. Good. The Breton's gone. That's good. He won't be taking any more of our hit points. Excellent. So we're four and a half minutes. Well, math in public. Five and a half minutes into this. Time to attack. Here we go. Oh man, it's going to get crazy now. We're getting crazy. Here comes Excalibur raging forward. The watery tart. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Tiger P's out in the open. That's a miss. We found a nice bush. He has no idea. Now he has an idea. He says, oh, let me just put some front armor to this guy. Tries to track him, it looks like, but doesn't quite get there. Switches to the front. And now we're taking the APCR gold shots. And that's going to be tough. It's going to be a tough sale against the Tiger P front. Might have a chance against parts of the turret, but we're just... Oh, there we go. We snuck one maybe into the lower plate right there. Right into the hatch. There we go. <laughs> He's almost a one-shot. Let's finish him off. No. Oh, 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 160 left him. What? 10 hit points? Oh, my goodness. Oh, and he got a, got a piece of us. Where's the Artie? Why are they not nuking our hero at this point? He's taking on the Titan. No, didn't quite get him. And decides against poking one more time. Yeah, there's the Artie. There we go. And it is now just our hero in his weird little stunted hunchback tank. And three Artie against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight enemy tanks. Eight. Run away. Yes, perfect. No need to get too far away from the cap. How about we all go stuff ourselves into a corner? Does that sound good? I think the M44 wants to get into the corner. All tanks into the corner, please. It's unfortunate that those rockets did not come in and kill this entire team right here. <laughs> unfortunately, they went long and missed. They went long and missed. All right, Squash is going to hit. Oh, wait a minute. we got a Leo out in the open. He's been spotted. The Su 8's in trouble. And don't we miss? Su 8's dead. This guy's doing a runner, a little lead fire, and down he goes. All right. So we head up here into this corner. We've got an M44 and an Excalibur stuffed up here. This is kind of a last-ditch spot. I've showed you a couple times. I've put myself in this spot. And we've got two artillery and the mighty Excalibur dwarf tank. Just waiting. Let's see what happens here. Of course, if you've played this game at all and you've seen this situation play out on this map, you have a really good idea where at least one of the enemy tanks are. If not, perhaps two stuffed into the corner. It looks like somebody actually took a shot or knocked a tree down. That may have... Yep, there we go. <laughs> I didn't look at that. I don't know if the M44 shot back there or what happened, but down goes the Su-100. Well, that evens things up a little bit. Now it's 3-6. to six. Not bad, not bad. I mean, what are the odds that the M44 isn't going to keep on trying to plop shots? No, not very good. There's another one. <laughs> Lost a few more hit points. <laughs> oh, and Squash Balls is not happy. He's not happy with Legion, the M44, and he leaves. Careful not to knock down any of those. I think that's probably pretty smart. And we're going to move slightly forward. And here we go. Fat guy moving into... Uh oh We've been spotted. This has to be the end, right? It has to be the end. There's artillery everywhere. Look at that. There we go. When's the other, next one going to get him? <laughs> Two came in. <laughs> one, one hit too close. Oh, they killed the Tiger P. 
They killed the Tiger P. Fat Amy is still in the fight. <laughs> but that wasn't even close. What was that guy shooting at? There's another one. <laughs> All right. Oh, holy cow. What? <coughs> that was fast. All right. So we're going to jump into these bushes next. Still not looking great. It's three to five, and they've got two tanks. Got a Santa Mill and a 150, which I imagine are in pretty good shape. There we go. 150 is okay. Here he comes. The Santa Mill is lightly armored. Oh, they didn't pick the same target. <laughs> they did. They both picked a different target. Would have been nice to have killed one of those, actually. Watch what happens here. The T-150 double bushes himself. He self-bushes himself and goes down in a heap. <laughs> Oh, and the Artie takes another hit. But one of Squash's Arties went down. And interestingly, it was the M44 who was up above. Because once they got close enough and he fired, he lost his cover. Down goes the Santa Mill, and up comes an artillery. At probably the worst time, I think, that Santa Mill would have been dead. But Squash had to back out, hoping that the AMX thing did not snap a shot off at him. And they managed to kill his other artillery. So we'll just back that arse up, running stuff over with the big bottom, the uh, fat bottom girl here. As you, <laughs> where are you going, Squash? Where are you going? Knocking stuff down, spinning around, and it looks like we're gonna try to be clever. We're gonna try to come around here. All of a sudden, we're at fifteen hundred damage, guys. Fifteen hundred damage in the Excalibur. We've sacrificed our team. We didn't need them anyway. We've got three kills and we need to figure out how to get four more guys dead and it's just us. So this was interesting because he came around here and I'm thinking, well, maybe he'll catch the Santa Mill out in the open, but he doesn't find him. So unknown what the Santa Mill is doing. So we'll head down this way. Looks like maybe he's gonna go arty hunting as long as they afford him the opportunity, but oh, look. <laughs> There's... <laughs> Oh, hey, M44, you might be spotted. There you go. That Well, a little too late now, fella. Good effort, though. Nice try. Just sitting up <laughs> sitting up there. <laughs> oh, sniped by a fat dwarf. That is that is no way to lose. That is no way to lose. But, but no class of tank ever deserved to be f sniped by a fat dwarf more than an arty. So here he comes around this way. No offense to fat dwarfs, but all offense to Artie, of course. Coming around this way, and looks like he's going to try to stay at the edge of their vision. But he's kind of close, so let's see what happens here. He comes up this way. They are at 20 seconds. There's two of them, so he needs to at least find one of them very quickly. There's one of them right there. And, oh, there's the other one. And it's the Santa Mill, so we'll just go ahead and <laughs> snipe a pixel on that poor guy. That got us spotted. Well, clearly it's over now, right? 90 hit points or so. Two Arties. Double tap. Well, there's a hit. Oh, we've got eight hit points left or so. Five kills headed down here. What's the plan? He's got 57 seconds. Boy, he's just going to be aggressive. Just hoping that the other M44 does not have a shot on him somehow. Very surprising. I didn't notice if one went in there. Now he's just, stuff's, stuff's getting hit. Shots are coming in and he's just trying to survive. Look, he's going to go for the dead carcass of the Emil and try to hide behind it. That's not a bad move. There you go. <laughs> Squash can't quite hit him. He's going to have to get a little closer to his work. He'd like to do this without getting spotted. Is he going to get spotted? Let's find out. Comes through here like a demented big bird, smashing through all the trees. Here he comes. <laughs> Here he comes. 12 seconds. Twelve. Is he going to be able to do it? 12 seconds. Disappeared. A little closer. Where is he? Takes a shot. There he is. All right. We got this now. Just a little poke at him. Just at the last. Actual last second. And for the kill. Now, why is he not dead? How has artillery not fired? That guy, is he on the move? What is he doing? He doesn't have a shot. There's a... Rockets going in. Too bad the Rockets can't just, I don't know, kill someone on this game and get us out of here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get us out of here. 
2,086 damage, 824 assists, 6 kills. And you guys, I know you are just in uh, rapt anticipation of what's going to happen. What kind of big flourish is going to happen with Fat Amy here? How is this end game going to go in the last 27 seconds to make this ace tanker one of the most epic, terrible tank ace tankers you've ever seen? How is it going to happen, guys? Take just one wild guess. Just one wild guess. What do you think? Who is going to get that last shot? What is the most appropriate ending to this kind of game? Perhaps I just gave it away. Guess this. This is the most appropriate ending to this kind of game. <laughs> I don't know if I should thank you, Squash, for sending this in. That was so boring. <laughs> it was... It was terrible in its greatness. It was great in its awfulness. I almost fell asleep. I'm pretty sure some people in England probably fell asleep. I don't know why I said England, but I was just going to say something like Pilgrim. Somebody fell asleep. Somebody fell off their chair. Probably injured themselves. It was awful. It was. It's an awful tank. It, <laughs> It's a terrible game. It was a, just a... I didn't even notice that you're using tea and crumpets. Why are you using food on an Excalibur? <laughs> well, get your ace tankers the way you can. I'm just glad the Artie didn't kill you. I don't know how they didn't kill you. Look at this thing. Just a hunchbacked dwarf. It's awful. <laughs> That's all I've got, guys. Have a good one. See you later.